it's easy to understand how the abdominals can play a significant part in terms of leading to that overload. If we imagine a plank position uh, and in, on resting on elbows, if you dip that anterior pelvis forward, we can overload the lower abdominals. But in the same way, if we're doing a pull-up, we can flex the hip in order to try to use the lower abdominals to assist that action. So therefore, focusing on the pelvic position with our abdominal training is all too important, as Ender will talk us through now. Abdominal musculature can be seen across a variety of movements, such as squatting, lunging, how we control rib flare and anterior tilt during running and change direction mechanics. Specifically, function can be assessed here, where we adopt a neutral cervical and rib position, place our hands across the chest and lift our legs up into the air. And can we retain that neutral position as we slowly lower our legs? You'll see about halfway down that Danny loses his rib position and his pelvic position. To have sufficient strength, ideally we'll be able to drop the legs all the way to the floor to meet the demands of high speed multi-directional movement seen in field sports. The entry level exercise for the abdominal stream is the banded pull down with the hips in a flex position. From here we adopt a neutral cervical position, neutral thorax and lumbar pelvic position as we resist the band through shoulder extension. We want to hold this position for 4-5 to five seconds. So the common errors include loss of cervical position, loss of thoracolumbar lumbar position. So ideally we want to maintain that neutral position at the cervical, at the thorax and at the pelvis for 4-5 to five second holds. The regression for this exercise is to place the feet on the floor to increase stability and reduce the demand on the abdominals. Alternatively, the progression is again to assume the hip flex position, maintain neutral chin, thorax and pelvis as we introduce the resistance of the band and lower both legs or alternatively one leg if we want to bring a unilateral bias to the exercise.